Hi everyone, this is Noelle from Petite Garden Centers and we're here in a beautiful uh, vegetable garden and we're looking at this whole plot. It's all different kinds of beans. And as we were scouting around through the vegetable garden, we saw uh, quite a bit of chewing damage. There's usually two types of insects that you can identify right away. You can identify either the chewers, which would be like your beetles, your caterpillars, that type, or you can, um, the other type is the one that's harder to identify. It's usually the suckers. So the aphids is a perfect example of that where they'll go to the new growth and kind of suck all the life out of the, the newer parts of that plant. So they look like they're wilting or something of that nature. So um, it's pretty easy to identify the chewers. As I mentioned, um, these beans have holes all over them. So some type of beetle has been um, chewing on them. I hate to tell you, I, I haven't been able to find the beetle as I'm looking around. Um, so I don't know specifically which beetle it is. It could be a number of them. Um, but what's good about that is um, I wanted to show you Captain Jack's dead bug brew. This is a great insecticide. So it takes care of insects. Namely, it does really, really well on the chewing insects, so your caterpillars, your beetles. Um, and all you need to do is spray this in a vegetable garden. We'll usually spray it in the evening after your pollinators have gone to bed, um, and that's really the best time to do it. And what you can do is spray it on the tops and the bottoms of the foliage, as you go through the garden, okay? Um, this um, actually has spinosad, if you've ever heard of that before. It's a natural occurring bacteria that actually will invade the, the actual insect, um, their body, and then they'll, they'll make them die. So, um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna spray the bean plants, um, tops of the leaves, bottoms of the leaves, and go from there. The re-entry for this or the reapplication is usually about seven to 14 days, depending on what type of insect you're dealing with. And then also just be aware that the labeling on this is, um, you wanna spray it about one to three days before you harvest some plant material. So squash, you actually have to wait three days before you harvest the squash. Uh, cucumbers, you can wait one day. Uh, before harvesting that. So just be aware, the, the labels, the instructions are very, very extensive with this product. Um, but it, like I said, it is a natural, so it's very good to use in the garden, especially if you're seeing this type of damage um, on your plant material. So I'm gonna open this up and I'm gonna spray the tops. It really doesn't have to be to drip, but you wanna make sure that the leaves are saturated. And then what I do is I tend to go around and I lift the plants up and then I'll spray the bottom of the leaves. Okay, so remember Captain Jack's is really, really good for um, those chewing insects. It can, it is labeled for other insects as well, but it's really good on those chewers, especially when you see those holes on your vegetable leaves and it's great to use. You can use it on edibles, you can use it on ornamentals as well. And just remember, spray in the evening after your pollinators go to sleep. Enjoy.